I just wanted to share this miraculous thing that happened. Oh yeah. 349 for diesel. That's how much we were paying for gas back in Ohio. Really liking this. <laughs> Good morning, picking back up from our last video. We are leaving Craig, Oklahoma, and we are heading up to Woodward, Oklahoma, so I can see my best friend, Dakota. Spend a few days over there before we hit up Brady's, but this will be an interesting drive. Just paid $3.49 for diesel, and hopefully it's not too windy out here, because you won't hear a damn thing I said if it got too bad. Get on the airplanes. Why is he always asleep when the airplanes are around? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's got B1, B2. Watch Watch the curve. Good morning. I am half awake right now. Apparently, I think uh, the water at the RV park uh, froze. We have a hose heater. It does the job pretty well, but I think, not really sure, but it's supposed to get up to 47 today, so hoping that uh, it thaws out. But yeah, it's uh, doing pretty good. Uh, met up with Dakota and Destiny and their three kids last night. It's fun. I, we haven't seen them in a while. Uh, yeah, didn't get any video of it because you know, I got to get used to this whole YouTube thing of vlogging everything because uh, I don't know if anybody ever wants to be on camera. I should probably get over that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll try to get some film of them today or something. But uh, going to meet up with them for breakfast this morning. Apparently it's the best place in town to have breakfast. I'm always down for that. This campground we're staying at is called Cottonwood RV Park. It's a uh, gravel spots. Um, not a whole lot to it. There's only two RV parks in the whole place and then uh, or in the town. The other one only did 20 and 30 amp and we're 50 amp so I kind of made us go with this. And it's only 25 bucks a night so uh, it's pretty good for the money. But yeah we barely fit our 42 foot well 
I guess rounded up to 43. But we barely fit in the spot. But uh, it works. It's not bad. But we're gonna get going. Got the truck warming up. Big beautiful beast over there. Nick named her Bigfoot. My son helped me come up with that name. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's go get some breakfast. We love stopping at small town diners any chance we get. This particular one only had one booth big enough for all nine of us. And obviously there was no room to really record or do anything. But I got this picture and I had some cool napkin art. Welcome to another windy day in western Oklahoma. Stopping getting some fuel and then we are going to go to a little town called Freedom, Oklahoma. And I believe on the way there we're going to be stopping at a place called Alabaster Caverns. And I don't know much about this. This is just a great place that uh, a buddy Coda decided he wanted to take us. So we're going to check that out. Come back, have us a nice dinner, and then uh, go check out some Christmas lights tonight. So, hope you guys enjoy the footage, and I'll try and narrate as I go along. Windy. Just windy. Stopped over here at Alabaster Caverns. Coda went inside to check out and see when they're doing another tram tour, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty out here. Did not expect the cavern part or the canyons and stuff like that out here. It was pretty cool. Wait, nope, can't go in there. Look. Look at the size of teeth. <laughs> here see him for a few days and he's showing us around we're about to take a tram tour to go down into that alabaster alabaster caverns yeah don't know much about it i saw that my wife uh looked into it a little bit it's like the only place you can see like gypsum stuff in the cave i guess like the show type of it's the only show cave show cave that's what it was but yeah we're gonna have some fun doing that it's actually not that bad. It's 10 bucks for an adult and uh, kids five and under get in free. How much was it for? It was like five bucks. Yeah, it's like five bucks for older kids. But yeah, I'm excited to see it. I've never been out this way, so to see something out here that's out of the norm. You know, my wife was actually saying earlier today, it's like, you know, this part of Oklahoma doesn't seem so soul sucking. <laughs> oh, it is really not. It's, so it's, I really think Woodward it's uh, a good A grade on places of possibly living. But there's a lot of state parks up here too. Yeah. I like they have a, this place has a state park and it has a campground too. Up, right? There's one right here and then I think a little further down. Yeah. All right, let's get into it.
He said, smile, look at the phone. He said, <laughs> uh, this must be the D incline. Fire Alright. Ron, you'll have to uh, help. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone's excited. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I can see why they didn't want us in there. <laughs> Too much weight would have sent that tractor flying down there. Hold on. Come over and hold this. Look at this drop on this side. Watch your head. Watch your head. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's insane. Watch your head there somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely would have upset them. Pretty cute little guys, huh? Do you see him? Cool. That's neat. Alright, guys, we'll keep on moving here. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Super unique out here. This is actually the largest gypsum showcase. It's a little bat right there. Yeah. Jess, there's a little bat right here. Uh, kind of unique for Western Oklahoma out here, but uh, according to a geologist, this cave really started its formation around 270 million years ago. So um, during that time period, uh, the Permian Sea actually you know covered this area. So this would all have been underwater as that water rushed through. That's kind of what carved out our pathway here. So um, so if you guys have been to many caves throughout the United States, most of them are going to be limestone caves, um, but we're gypsum here. So as we're going through, you guys can feel free to touch the rocks on the side here. Um, the oil rip on your skin really won't affect the growth of this. Yeah, don't see too many this time of year, but um, through the summertime, we'll see a lot more of them. Yeah, yeah we'll kind of head a little bit deeper here, and uh, we'll show you guys a couple cool spots along the way, but um, feel free to ask questions as we're going through. You got it, buddy? Whoa! I know. Going up! Going up! This is really neat. I had no idea they had something like this out here in western Oklahoma. No idea! You had no idea? I had no idea we hadn't been in here for a while. Is this the favorite place you've never been? <laughs> no! I've never been here. <laughs> this kid. Watch your step, buddy. Oh, there's... Just a little dark, but they got lights in there. That's cool. I love that there's big groups of bats, and then there's these lone bats just by themselves. They must be the ones that sleep a little warm. C.L. Klingerman, and uh, we actually have stories of C.L. Klingerman. He actually came through the cave here in the early 30s and 40s, and he actually mined the bat guano out of here and uh, shipped it to San Francisco. So um, he had it made into gunpowder and fertilizer there. So um, glad he did that for us. Probably had thousands of years of bat uh, guano built up in here until he came in. So. Gotta get that guano. So, uh, 
I really hope there's not a Sasquatch in here that's going to pull me backward because I'm at the end of the line. I'm low hanging fruit right now. Um, the one above us here is actually called a keyhole dome. It looks like a giant keyhole that's up in the ceiling. Um, so the guy that named this, is his name was Charles Grass. And uh, he actually owned the cave here. He bought it in 1939 and so, sold it to the state in 1953. So he named a lot of our features to our cave that we'll see today. Um, so the ceiling on Keyhole Dome up here is about 25 feet from where we're standing here. And uh, the ground level above that is another 25 feet above that. So we're about 50 feet underground back right here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Do you see the markings on the floor? Yeah, up above us here, we actually uh, call this one Cathedral Dome. So uh, we can really <coughs> tell how water swirled around this outside edge for years and years to kind of carve that out. Um, a lot of kids say it looks like a Hot Wheels racetrack up there anyways. So um, kind of the imagination. But yeah, we'll see some different layers of rock through here. Um, so that neat. ceiling up there is actually called Mescatunga Gypsum. And, uh, that's actually what's most commonly mined around this area, uh, mainly used for drywall for the walls of your house. And then uh, we'll see a thinner layer of shale, which is the brown stuff up there. And then uh, everything that ran down below here is called Medicine Lodge Gypsum. And uh, that's really what, where we'll uh, um, see how the alabaster at. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of this? Let me get you on video. Tell uh, us yeah, what you think. This about is great. We'll it's great. Guys into our cave um, in 2018, we actually had a cave so, made in the front of our cave, and um, that really brought about 2,000 tons of rock down on top of our trail. So, um, you know, that was a good one. It's really trippy. It's cool that we got to see a bat flying around. It's cool down here. Watch your heads. Well, once again, today we can let you go on this route here. I can meet you on the other side. The other side. Wait, so, wait, wait. Nice. if you'd like to take the easier route, you can follow me as well too. Uh, bye. Are you guys going splanking? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go. Oh my! I'm going. Come on. Come on. I'll see you guys on the other side. Come with me. Stay down. Oh my lord! What am I getting myself into here? Bye bye. All right. Yeah, go. <laughs> Get how ridiculous this is for me. <laughs> Go. You don't have a problem at all. Thank you very much. Come back and see us again. Got a couple more back there. Made it out alive. That was a really fun tour. Did you learn anything? Probably. <laughs> King of the Rock. I'm on the rock. Right, be extra careful in there. I don't want you guys falling off of that. I want to swim. Whee! Yeah. Gotta be careful, buddy. When you stand up, just don't lose your balance. Yeah! King of the castle! Throw your arms up. Yay! Wee! <laughs> Headwinder. <laughs> well, that's as fun as you thought it'd be.
I had a great time. Why well, you just throw him out the queen? <laughs> I got that. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there like, what happened? Oh my God. <laughs>